Uh, thank you both. Afghanistan, uh, General Mathis, uh, the last card to play really is the residual force in 2014. Do you agree with that? Uh, I do, sir. And we could have a very good outcome in Afghanistan if we play that card well. Do you agree with that? Uh, it will be critical uh, to the good outcome. Okay. 13-6 uh, was the recommendation in terms of U.S. force presence, 352 in terms of Afghan security forces, and some NATO. That's the configuration, right? 13-6 uh, was my personal right. recommendation. Yes, sir. Well, let's say that, you know, the president, uh, he's the commander-in-chief. We all respect that. My concern is that at the end here, we're going to drop the ball, and I don't want to do that. Let's say you announced 10,000 U.S. forces, not 13-6, and you said publicly we will reduce that force 2,000 a year until we get down to 2,000, you know, four years later. What kind of effect would a... Uh, statement like that have on our success or potential success in Afghanistan? Senator Graham, I think we have to send a message of commitment. Uh, we work with a lot of unpredictability, Senator, and if the Afghan security forces continue to mature the way they have been and we hold them at that full strength into 2018, there may be more reductions we can take. But you wouldn't Those, announce on day one we're going to withdraw 2,000 a year no matter what. I, I think a military perspective, Senator, because of the unpredictable nature of war, The we enemy will look at the last number, not the first number. Uh, they will, yes, sir. Okay, that, that's fine. That's one fair. last thing about Iran. We've got two choices here. Bring them to their senses, which is to stop developing a nuclear weapon capability, or bring them to their knees so they can't develop a nuclear weapon capability. Aren't those our two options? Yes, sir. Uh, as, to the sec as to the second option, do we have the capability to bring them to their knees? Well, absolutely, Senator. I would still say on bring to their senses between economic sanctions, diplomatic isolation, and encouragement of uh, behavior that does not cost them uh, such a degree of political uh, support that they end up losing power, there may yet be a way to bring them to their senses on a purely cost-benefit ratio. And I hope you're right, but if that doesn't work, the only option left is to bring them there to their knees. Do you agree? Uh, yes, sir. The means, uh, there are a number of means to do that, uh, perhaps even short of open conflict. But certainly that's one of the options that I have to have prepared for the President. Thank you.